Okay, let's work number 21 and 7.4 because I want to make sure that um, you understand what it's asking for. So it's asking for two things. It's saying to solve the equation and then it's asking for six specific solutions. All right, so you'll notice in number 21, we've got the cosine of theta equals 0.28. So my cosine theta, my trig ratio and theta is already isolated, so I don't have to do any operations. Um, now I'm just looking to see what angles um, I could plug in and make that equation true. So notice that my cosine theta is positive, so it's positive 0.28, which means my two angles are going to come from where cosine is positive, which is always all four are positive in quadrant one, and then cosine is positive in quadrant four. So my two angles are coming out of that quadrant. Now, most everything we've done so far in this course has been in degrees, and you can certainly keep this in degrees, and I'm going to show you what happens when I plug in um, my solution when I'm in degree mode. So I've got my calculator in front of me and I'm just going to plug in. What I'm looking for is the inverse cosine of 0.28. So my calculator is still in degree mode. So um, when I plug that in, I get my angles approximately 73.74 degrees. And if I were looking for all solutions, I would obviously add 360 degrees K. All right, now let me just go ahead and tell you that WebAssign will not take any answers in degrees with when it's asking for all solutions. So they're gonna have to be in radians. So you could solve out everything and then convert like we learned. That was one of the first things we learned, but I would make it easier on myself. I would just go ahead and put my calculator in radian mode. And so when you plug in 0.28 and you're in radian mode, you get um, that it's approximately 1 point, and I'm going to go ahead and do three decimal places, so 2, 8, 7 radians. All right, so that's out of my first quadrant. So that would actually be my reference angle in radians. So if I was going to write all solutions for that, let's just go ahead and do that. So that's going to be 1.287 plus 2 pi radians. And I'm going to use the integer k or n or whatever integer they ask you to use. So k would be any integer at that point. So that's my angle out of the first quadrant. Now, if I'm looking for my angle out of the fourth quadrant, remember that we always go from the x-axis. So I'm always going from the x-axis. So I'm going to subtract that. If I was doing degrees, I would do 360, but I'm going to keep myself in radian mode. So I'm going to do 2 pi minus 1.287. And so when I plug that in my calculator, I do 2 times pi minus 1.287. And that gives me approximately 4.2. 996 and then I'm going to add all solutions so there's my 2 pi k to that as well. All right, so those are my solutions to that equation above. Now I'm going to go ahead and list all six solutions. So if I want to find six solutions, and when I said all six solutions, I mean six. There's infinitely many solutions, but I'm going to go ahead and list six specific solutions. To do that, I just plug in values for k. So I'm going to plug in k equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And you could certainly do negative 1, negative 2. You could, you could do it like that as well. All right, so let's see what happens when I plug in 0. Well, if I plug in 0, that 2 pi is 0 because anything times 0 is 0. So two of my, of my solutions are, are going to be 1.287 and 4.996. All right, then I'm going to plug in k equals 1. Now, remember that I have to do my order of operations. So what I'm doing here is 1.287 plus 2 pi times 1. All right, so I'm actually going to do 2 times pi plus, because you multiply before you add, 0 0.287. 
make seven. And so another solution is going to be 7.570. All right, if I plug in one for this um, other, and I could plug in, I could just get, just use this top one and plug in three, four, and two, three, four, and five, and get six solutions. So it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just doing whatever's easiest. As long as you come up with six specific solutions, then you're good to go. So I'm actually going to plug it into this 4.996. I'm going to use K as 1 for that too. So I've got 2 times pi plus 4.996. And that's going to give me 11.279. All right, so that's four solutions. And then if I plug in 2 for K, I get uh, 4... 1.27. I get 13.853. And then, and then when I plug in my last value, so I'm going to plug in 2 into this second equation. So I've got 2 times pi times k, or 4 pi plus 4.996, which is 17.562. And so those are my six solutions.